You may associate ascorbic acid uh, with vitamin C being in oranges and other citrus crops, and you are correct. But here we'll look at its impact as a plant hormone uh, and what effects that can have on plants more than just the citrus, such as the oranges and lemons. So this vitamin C is, ab is abundant component of plants. And its proposed functions in photosynthesis as an enzyme cofactor. And this also includes the synthesis of ethylene gibberellins and anthocyanins and also in the control of cell growth. So it can have more than just the photosynthetic process, it can also control and regulate potentially uh, cell growth in plants. Uh, l absorbic acids, so is just referring, this L referring to the type of shape uh, that it has. Uh, we're looking at L and D forms. L is more biologically active. This is the form of, of vitamin C. So it's essential for plants uh, as it is to animals. This is something that crosses both plants and animals. Uh, vitamin C here regulates cell division, which we see, can see here, growth, and it's involved in signal transduction. It's the passing of signals within a plant or uh, within a cell in general. In contrast to the single pathway responsible for absorbic acid both synthesis in animals, in contrast to that, plants use multiple pathways to synthesize this particular plant hormone. This perhaps reflects the importance of this molecule on plant health because it has multiple pathways. In case something was to happen to one, plants almost need a way to kind of produce this particular uh, plant hormone ab absorbic acid. As a result, they have multiple pathways to be able to accomplish that. Absorbic acid is not only important antioxidant, also appears to link to flowering time, uh, developmental senescence, which is the degradation of plants. Uh, leaves here, for example, they senesce, they die off like the leaves in a New England uh, fall. Programmed cell death, which is apoptosis in response to pathogens through complex signal transduction network. So what I try to show a little bit here is this complex network. This is just an example of how you can have one input causing a whole cascade of events to occur, ultimately leading to gene regulation. This is just some of the examples of what absorbic acid can do. Uh, lastly, therefore, it's assumed that absorbic acid affects phytochrome-mediated uh, signaling, which is processed during the transition from the vegetative to the reproductive uh, phase in the final stage of development and ultimately senescence. So when you're flipping your plants, going from a flowering, uh, going from a vegetative to that flowering stage, during that flower development, uh, absorbic acid could be uh, occurring in higher amounts and influencing that. So again, just an example how a plant hormone, while may be needed in small amounts in the plant, can have large effects on that whole plant's physiology and ultimately potentially even the anatomy.